Okay, so this is the last question on the uh, GCSE mathematics uh, uh, working with vectors. Now these are a, a star type questions, so they do take a little bit of working through, although please do add a comment below the video and I'll be more than happy to help. Okay, so um, we've got this uh, first question as part A is find vector AB in terms of A and B. Okay, well, we don't know anything about A and B at this moment, but we do know this vector along here and this vector along here. So we're going to have to go around the houses. So what we're saying is, is that vector AB is equal to vector AO plus vector OB. Okay, which we do know the information to, and what we do know is that vector AO is equal to 2A, but we're actually going along in this direction, so it's against this, so it's going to be minus 2A, and then we're going to go from here to here, well that's going to be plus 3b. So vector AB is going to be equal to minus 2a plus 3b. Okay, so the first part of the question usually gives you a bit of a clue to the next part of the question, which on this particular um, problem is quite tricky, but I hope you'll be able to work through okay with it. So um, what it says is that P is a point on AB, so that AP and BP is in the ratio 2 to 3. Show that OP is parallel to the vector A plus B. Okay, so let's have a look at that actually on the diagram itself. So what we're saying is, on the diagram itself, is that P is a point here, such that the ratio between AP and PB is 2 to 3. So if you like... Um, there's five units here all together, so AP is two-fifths of the way along, and PB is the remaining three-fifths of the way along. Now, I tend to look at vectors as uh, forces, um, so if you can imagine, if you're pushing something along this line here, if you push it two-fifths of the way, you're going to get to P. If you push it the final three-fifths of the way, you're going to get to B. Okay, so we're going to show that OP is parallel to the vector A plus B. Well, in order to show that OP is parallel to the vector AOB, we need to show that vector OP is parallel if it's a multiple or the same. So if it's the same or a multiple of A plus B. Okay, so let's have a look and see if we can find vector OP. Well, again, if you refer to the diagram, we've got vector OP, and that's going to be equal to OA plus vector AP. Okay, so if we go back to the diagram itself, we've got OP, and that's going to take us O to P is what we're looking for. Now, we don't know anything about that vector, but we do know that we can go along OA and then down AP. And as I mentioned before, it does give us a bit of a clue when we get this first vector question here. Um, it'll help a little bit with answering the second part. OK, so I suggest that you print off a copy of this uh, particular question so that we can work through it side by side. Okay, so vector OA, well, OA we know is 2A, that's fairly straightforward. We also know that AP is, as we mentioned before, it's going to be two fifths of the vector AB. Okay, well, let's just plug some numbers in there and see what happens. So we end up with 2A plus two fifths. And in brackets, I'm going to put minus 2a plus 3b. And then really, you've answered the question. It is just a case of working this through. So let's have a look at that. And we end up with um, 2a. And I've got 
plus two fifths times minus two a. Well, that's going to be minus four fifths a. And if you're not sure how to do the um, fractions there, then uh, if you sit down with a little bit of paper, then hopefully that will work out okay for you. And then the final bit is going to be three, no, it's not, it's going to be six fifths b. Okay. So therefore, vector op equals um, six fifths a plus six fifths b. Or I could write that as six fifths a plus b. And again, um, working out this fraction, so you've got two holes minus four fifths, and you need to work through fractions in dealing with that. But what we've shown is demonstrated that because um, vector OP is a multiple of A plus B, it's a multiple by six fifths, then it must be parallel. If you prefer to work in decimals, then six fifths would be the same as working uh, at 1.2. And I would generally, to answer these questions, I would put a line in that say vector OP is parallel as it's a multiple of a plus b. Okay, I hope that's okay for you. It is a bit of a tricky video and uh, please do add a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.